TBI dashboard. The next feature is the Traumatic Brain Injury, or TBI, dashboard. The TBI dashboard provides graphical trend data and ventilation assistance relevant to the management of a TBI patient. The TBI dashboard can be accessed from the third level of QA keys on the left side of the X-Series Advanced. Providers will note that the icon looks like a bandaged head. It is available in both manual and AED modes. Note that if the device is in AED mode, it is only available when the AED function is paused. During the use of real CPR help, defibrillation, cardioversion, or pacing, access is also restricted, although the data is still being monitored and trended. When the TBI dashboard is activated, the dashboard will populate the bottom two waveforms of the device screen. Providers will notice that the dashboard is separated into four distinct quadrants. The top left quadrant, shown in white, is the simple ventilation timer, designed to assist ventilation timing. The lower left quadrant, shown in blue, is a trend of systolic blood pressure data. The upper right quadrant, shown in magenta, is a trend of capnography data. And finally, the lower right quadrant, shown in yellow, is a trend of pulse oximetry data. It should also be noted that activating the TBI dashboard will initiate automatic non-invasive blood pressure readings at five-minute intervals. In the event a shorter automatic interval is already being used, the NIBP system will remain in the shorter interval. We will begin with the simple ventilation timer. This is a countdown timer only and will not provide any ventilation feedback. When in adult mode, the default ventilation rate, measured in breaths per minute, will be 10. This is configurable in the supervisor menu. In pediatric mode, the default is 20 breaths per minute, and in neonate mode, the default is 25 breaths per minute. The rate can be adjusted by highlighting it, pressing Select, selecting the new rate from the available options, and confirming it with the Select button. Selecting Off will disable the simple ventilation timer if it is not needed, such as when the patient is placed on a mechanical ventilator. The simple ventilation timer can also be paused by pressing the Pause QA key on the left side of the device and restarted by pressing the Play QA key now found in the same position where the Pause QA key was located. Next, we will cover the systolic blood pressure trend. The trend graph shows systolic blood pressure measured in millimeters of mercury, mmHg, over time. The SBP trend shows a trailing 15 minutes of readings, with new readings coming in from the right side of the trend graph. The default viewable range is a low of 85 systolic to a high of 150 systolic. Readings appearing within the viewable range will display as a plus sign. There is also a supervisor configured low systolic pressure limit shown as a white dotted line on the graph. This is only available in the adult patient mode. Systolic blood pressures that fall outside of the viewable range of the graph will be shown with either an arrow pointing up at the top of the graph, meaning it is above the viewable range, or an arrow pointing down at the bottom of the graph, meaning it is below the viewable range. It is possible to rescale the graph and potentially bring the readings into view by highlighting SBP millimeters of mercury, pressing select, selecting the wider 60 to 180 millimeters of mercury setting, and pressing select again to confirm your choice. Next, we will cover the capnography or ETCO2 trend. The trend graph shows ETCO2 measured in millimeters of mercury, mmHg, over time. The ETCO2 trend shows a trailing three minutes of data, with new data coming in from the right side of the trend graph. The default viewable range is a low of 30 millimeters of mercury to a high of 48 millimeters of mercury. Data appearing within the viewable range will display as a linear graph. There are also supervisor-configured low and high ETCO2 limits 
shown as white dotted lines on the graph. They are only available in the adult patient mode. ET CO2 data that falls outside of the viewable range of the graph will be shown with either an arrow pointing up at the top of the graph, meaning it is above the viewable range, or an arrow pointing down at the bottom of the graph, meaning it is below the viewable range. It is possible to rescale the graph and potentially bring the readings into view by highlighting ETCO2 MMHG, pressing Select, selecting the wider 20 to 50 millimeters of mercury setting, and pressing Select again to confirm your choice. Finally, we will cover the pulse oximetry or SpO2 trend. The trend graph shows SpO2 percentage over time. The SpO2 trend shows a trailing three minutes of data with new data coming in from the right side of the trend graph. The default viewable range is a low of 80% to a high of 100%. Data appearing within the viewable range will display as a linear graph. There is also a supervisor configured low SpO2 limit shown as a white dotted line on the graph. This is only available in the adult patient mode. SpO2 data that falls outside of the viewable range of the graph will be shown with an arrow pointing down at the bottom of the graph, meaning it is below the viewable range. It is possible to rescale the graph and potentially bring the readings into view by highlighting SpO2 percent, pressing Select, selecting the wider 70 to 100 percent setting, and pressing Select again to confirm your choice. There are multiple ways to exit the TBI dashboard. While the dashboard is visible, pressing the Exit QA key on the left will exit the TBI dashboard. Pressing the Home key on the right side of the device will also exit the TBI dashboard. And finally, the TBI dashboard will exit if any of the electrical therapy keys are pressed or chest compressions are started with any Zoll CPR electrode. Note that your data will continue to trend in the background. This allows the provider to see the most recent data available should they return to the TBI dashboard. If Real BVM Help is also being used, the Real BVM Help dashboard will populate in the upper left quadrant of the TBI dashboard, replacing the simple ventilation timer. A default TBI ventilation rate is configurable at the supervisor level. Note that if Real BVM Help was already in use prior to entering the TBI dashboard and the target ventilation rate does not match the default TBI ventilation rate, the provider may see a message stating BVM target breath rate does not match TBI rate. Switch to TBI rate? Responding yes will switch the target ventilation rate to the TBI default rate. Responding no will leave the target ventilation rate as it is currently set in the Real BVM Help dashboard.